Hey guys, this is my 1988 Toyota pickup. I mainly use it for off-roading and I've quickly realized that I could make better use of the bed. When camping, we want to keep all of our gear organized and when wheeling, we don't want it to slide and move around. The idea is to create this out of 2x8s so we can separate and organize our cargo while preventing it from sliding around or bouncing out of the bed. We still need to be able to open the toolbox and we want to have the cooler accessible from the side of the truck. I plan to create a rectangle that will fit between the wheel wells and tight up against the toolbox and the tailgate. This will also create storage behind the wheel wells on each side of the bed. First, we need to measure between the wheel wells and determine how wide our frame needs to be. In this case, it was 40 and 7 16 now we're marking the wood so we know where to cut. I'd also like to mention that we're using very basic tools to do this. A drill, a circular saw, and a speed square. There are definitely more precise ways to do this, but we're showing how to do it with common tools. So here's our very basic frame. We had to set the sides of the frame in 3 8 to fit between the wheel wells and the part that sandwiches up against the tailgate needed to be half an inch lower in order to follow the lines of the bed. You'll quickly realize that your truck bed is not perfect, but we're not shooting for perfection here. Here's the box in the back of the bed, and I'm pretty happy with the fitment. It fits snug between the wheel wells and tightly between the toolbox and the tailgate. With the tailgate closed, you can see that it's very secure. We will have to test it, but I'm not sure if we need to mount this thing to the bed. We need to create dividers within the box, but it's definitely starting to come together. Unfortunately, we ran out of wood, so we need to pick up some more to finish this project. But here's a look into what we have in mind. Well guys, here's the final layout of our box. The two sections in the front are for the cooler and the cargo bin, and there's a back section for other supplies. Additionally, this creates pockets behind each wheel well that can be used for other storage as well. Now we're going to paint it and add some D-rings after the paint dries. and the finished product. We put D-rings in each corner for tying things down or attaching a cargo net. Unfortunately, we're missing one lag screw because someone put the wrong size screw into the bin at the store, and we had one that just didn't fit. 